We're joining Wade in Central Texas for an opening day handgun hunt as part of our look into handgun hunting. Wade has a 10-point buck in his sights. However, he keeps on moving around, not giving Wade enough time for a shot. The bucks are feeding up during this time of the year. They're hitting the acorns, they're hitting feeders, they're hitting any type of mass crop they can find, uh, trying to bulk up. This is that time of the year you can really start to define what a deer looks like, and it really changes the dynamics of how deer act. Open in morning hunt. Yeah, we usually see, you know, 20, 20 deer and stuff, and that guy there really captivated my attention. I mean, a big, you can see the big mill deer fork on his right hand side. <coughs> 10 point. Mainframe 10 with mill deer fork. It always takes me a second to get caught back up on my breathing there. I, I mean, he. He kind of milled over here and they were fighting. You could hear them snort wheezing. You could see the does fighting and then the whole nine yards. There's a little bit of acorns. We threw a little bit of corn out, some persimmons right here in front of me. And they were just posturing as they do right when they first come, you know, the season starts. And I got cocked barely. I mean, I had a doe over here watching me the whole time when he first came by. And I mean, we got busted. Yeah, it, you know, that happens. We just maintain patience and Shooting the old 44 there, I, I'm, I'm hoping, you know, he kicked and he kind of acted hurt running down through there. You know, I lost everything when I pulled the trigger. Yeah, the shot felt good. I mean, I felt like I had the red dot right where I needed to. I'm shooting that SRO Trigicon and it's got a big sight picture. And I mean, he gave me the perfect broadside shot. If I missed or made a bad shot, it's on me because everything else was perfect. Oh, that's pretty good blood there. Right there. That's a lot of blood. For the for the where he was standing. Yeah. Why do we always have to track deer on opening day, Clark? Every year. You know, it's just kind of a. <laughs> it's all my. Yeah, it's it's it's, all my it's, fault. it's a. At least he didn't blame me. It's tradition. Yeah, it is. Well, and so that's the whole theme to this show. It's tradition. Well, that's a pretty good. Th that's a pretty good theme to have, in my mind. <laughs> I like looking up. I mean, sometimes we just look up. We get lucky, don't we? <laughs> I, I just like when it works that way. <laughs> Everybody else is looking down. I just had to look up. I know my eyes aren't as good. No, nah, no, nah, we got the blood trackers here. We're the visual spotters. <laughs> well, we had such a good view of him. Jeff and I did when he was running. We, you know, we knew running out and. You know, we went back to go eat, which is the right thing to do, you know, and there he is. <laughs> I mean, he only, he didn't go very far. No, nah, he didn't go very far at all. That worked good. Oh, that's awesome. That's just another good opening day hunt. <laughs> wow. I what love a opening day. There's nothing like getting it started. Got a little cloud cover, which is pretty rare for <laughs> us. Let's go see this deer. <laughs> Great ending to a good hunt. That's what you want right there. That deer probably, I don't know, 120, 150 yards from the impact and just piled up. We 
I felt like my shot was actually a, a little bit, that's cool. It's still got a little velvet and a little channel right there. I felt like my shot was just a little back and a little high, but obviously it got the lungs and got it done. That's, that's what you're asking for. That's the great way to start another Texas deer season. It's our traditional opening and plan to come over here and eat little smokies and grill and fry fish, play golf, and hopefully fill the freezer with venison and so far, we're doing pretty good on that plan. What a cool deer.